The Ministry of Health has revealed that eight people in Trinidad and Tobago remain in quarantine since the outbreak of COVID-19. At a media conference on Wednesday, the Health Ministry also disclosed measures at its disposal to deal with situations where citizens defy the quarantine. Bidia Ramfal has more in this report. The Ministry of Health has reaffirmed that while there are no cases of COVID-19 in Trinidad and Tobago, it can forcibly detain suspected carriers of the virus who attempt to defy its quarantine measures. Twenty people have been quarantined since government used this measure to prepare for the possibility of an outbreak of COVID-19. Of the 20 persons, eight are still at home under quarantine, while another 10 persons have been prevented from entering Trinidad and Tobago. This measure was made possible in January this year when COVID-19 was added to the list of quarantinable diseases under this country's Quarantine Act. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Parasram says while all 20 persons quarantined so far have complied with the law, the Act allows government to detain those who do not. If the need, uh, need arises, the Minister of National Security has assured the, the Ministry of Health that the necessary steps through the Defence Force or the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service will be taken to have persons stationed outside of their home and guarded 24 hours a day to ensure that they stay there. That, has not, that, that issue has not come to bear with the cases that are being quarantined at present. But we, have, we can go that far. We can actually take you out of your home to a hospital isolation under the Quarantine Act if need be as well as another tier of isolation. Dr. Parasram said these measures apply to persons who enter the country at known ports of entry. He also spoke to how government will deal with illegal immigrants who may have COVID-19. It's very difficult for us to tell, you know, illegal ports of entry. We, we're dealing with illegal ports of entry at this point. National security has increased their patrol. I don't want to speak for national security as to what measures they have put in place, but they are aware of the issue and they have increased their, their vigilance in that regard. Dr. Parasram heads an interministerial team which includes the Ministry of National Security which meets on the COVID issue on Thursday. Video Ramfall, TDT News. The Health Minister has assured this country's first responders that government has adequate stocks of personal protective equipment in the event of an outbreak of COVID-19. Commonly referred to as PPE, personal protective equipment is worn by health workers to minimize exposure to viruses and other hazards. Minister Terence Dial Singh says government's stock of PPE includes more than 17 million sterile and non-sterile gloves and in excess of 40,000 face masks. Minister Terence Dial Singh says it makes no sense to distribute the equipment before the first case of COVID-19 occurs. PPE. There is PPE in the system for routine work. There is PPP in the system to take care of our first case when it comes. And then when you have an outbreak, if you have an outbreak, then PPE could be rushed to those locations. It makes no sense to take all these PPE and just distribute it into the system. And then when you have a case, you can't find it. The Singh said Trinidad and Tobago also has access within 48 hours to more protective equipment. Trinidad and Tobago is a signatory to PAHO, WHO, and we are a financial member. What that does, it gives us immediate access to PAHO's strategic stock of PPE and medication warehoused in Panama. And that could be flown here and reach here within 48 hours. The Ministry of Health has unveiled a specially outfitted ambulance to transport patients who may be affected by COVID-19. The vehicle is part of the fleet of emergency ambulances maintained by service provider Global Medical Response of Trinidad and Tobago. The company's chief executive, Paul Anderson, said the ambulance contains an isopod, which is a mobile hospital bed encased in a plastic bubble. The isopod is designed to provide medical staff and first responders with a safe way to isolate contaminated patients and transport them to another location. Anderson said the isopod also helps to prevent the control of infectious diseases and protects medical staff infection. The ambulance was designed in 2013 when Trinidad and Tobago was preparing for a possible Ebola outbreak.
Meanwhile, the Northwest Regional Health Authority, NWRHA, is refuting and strongly condemning the false information currently circulating on social media regarding the death of three people at the Port of Spain General Hospital from the COVID-19 virus. The NWRHA is assuring members of the public there are no confirmed cases of the COVID-19 virus at the Port of Spain General Hospital. There are no COVID-19 related deaths at the Port of Spain General Hospital. No member of the public is currently quarantined at the Port of Spain General Hospital. The NWRHA is urging anyone seeking information and updates on the COVID-19 virus to obtain information from reputable sources, such as the Ministry of Health, the Pan American Health Organization, or PAHO, and the World Health Organization, the WHO.